now we come to Lesson 78 from the workbook of A Course in Miracles. Lesson 78, let miracles replace all grievances. Let miracles replace all grievances. Perhaps it is not yet quite clear to you that each decision that you make is one between a grievance and a miracle. Each grievance stands like a dark shield of hate before the miracle it would conceal. And as you raise it up before your eyes, you will not see the miracle beyond. Yet all the while, it waits for you in light, but you behold your grievances instead. Today, we go beyond the grievances to look upon the miracle instead. We will reverse the way you see by not allowing sight to stop before it sees. We will not wait before the shield of hate, but lay it down and gently lift our eyes in silence to behold the Son of God. He waits for you behind your grievances, and as you lay them down, he will appear in shining light where each one stood before. For every grievance is a block to sight. And as it lifts, you see the Son of God where he has always been. He stands in light, but you were in the dark. Each grievance made the darkness deeper and you could not see. Today, we will attempt to see God's Son. We will not let ourselves be blind to Him. We will not look upon our grievances. So is the seeing of the world reversed as we look out toward truth, away from fear. We will select one person you have used as target for your grievances. <laughs> and lay the grievances aside and look at him. Someone perhaps you fear and even hate. Someone you think you love who angered you. Someone you call a friend, but whom you see as difficult at times or hard to please, demanding, irritating, or untrue to the ideal he should accept as his according to the role you set for him. <laughs> Does anyone do that? You know the one to choose. His name has crossed your mind already. He will be the one of whom we ask God's Son be shown to you. Through seeing him behind the grievances that you have held against him, you will learn that what lay hidden while you saw him not is there in everyone and can be seen. He who was enemy is more than friend when he is freed to take the holy role the Holy Spirit has assigned to him. Let him be savior unto you today. Such is his role in God your Father's plan. Our longer practice periods today will see him in this role. You will attempt to hold him in your mind first as you now consider him. You will review his faults the difficulties you have had with him, the pain he caused you, his neglect, and all the little and larger hurts he gave. You will regard his body with its flaws and better points as well, and you will think of his mistakes and even of his sins. Then let us ask of him who knows this Son of God in his reality and truth that we may look on him a different way and see our Savior shining in the light of true forgiveness given unto us. We ask him in the holy name of God and of his Son, as holy as himself. Let me behold my Savior in this one you have appointed as the one for me to ask, to lead me to the holy light in which he stands, that I may join with him. The body's eyes are closed, and as you think of him who grieved you, let your mind be shown the light 
in Him beyond your grievances. What you have asked for cannot be denied. Your Savior has been waiting long for this. He would be free and make His freedom yours. The Holy Spirit leans from Him to you, seeing no separation in God's Son. And what you see through Him will free you both. Be very quiet now and look upon your shining Savior. No dark grievances obscure the sight of Him. You have allowed the Holy Spirit to express through Him the role God gave him that you might be saved. God thanks you for these quiet times today in which you laid your images aside and looked upon the miracle of love the Holy Spirit showed you in their place. The world and heaven join in thanking you for not one thought of God but must rejoice as you are saved and all the world with you. We will remember this throughout the day and take the role assigned to us as part of God's salvation plan and not our own. Temptation falls away when we allow each one we meet to save us and refuse to hide his light behind our grievances. To everyone you meet and to the ones you think of or remember from the past, Allow the role of Savior to be given, that you may share it with him. For you both, and all the sightless ones as well, we pray, let miracles replace all grievances. That's Lesson 78, let miracles replace all grievances. If you'd like to read my commentary on the workbook this year, go to amytorresasim.com and click on Amy's blog. Namaste.